Welcome to this presentation, which is to give you an orientation about intended learning outcomes for week one and two for triple zero program at foundation year RCYCI. English triple zero is an eight hour preparatory English course, uh, which is for CEFR below A1 level students designed to prepare the high school graduates uh, to enter the foundation program. In week one and two, we have certain set of learning outcomes for students to master, uh, starting first with the listening. We want our students to listen, to identify, circle and repeat numbers. Not only the, the, the numbers as such, but also writing them in words. Uh, listen and label the pictures. Uh, uh, for example, right below the pictures in terms of the classroom, for example, the different items in the classroom. Then identify and speak a number, uh, a number and point out the classroom objects like whiteboard, like uh, windows, door. Ask question and answer the question. Introducing yourself and introducing your friends. Also, it involves the pronunciation practice in terms of rising and falling for questioning, for instance. Also, the intonation words and sentence stress, letters of alphabets. Greeting people, like how to greet them when they're coming or they're leaving and introducing yourself and your friends. In terms of reading, you, need to, you should be able to read and match the capital letters with small letters and abbreviations with pictures because this is the base before you start writing words and senses. Then in writing, uh, you have to write the numbers and the classroom vocabulary and write three basic introductory dialogues. In terms of vocab and grammar, which is in, in essence the base of your language, uh, you need to have a vocabulary regarding meeting people, names, greetings and numbers, family, friends and countries in terms of nationalities, common objectives in terms of personality objectives and objectives to describe a place. Then the numbers 1 to 10 and the first 100 words fry list. In terms of grammar, you need to know about the subject pronouns. Uh, the present tense verb to be, the forms is, am and are. Possessive adjectives like my, your, our, etc. Question words starting with what, wha, how, when, why and the question words starting with is, am and are. So this is, this is what we have, we have to cover in the first two weeks and you should be able to answer all these. Uh, look at stage one. First we are given a set of speaking questions. The idea is that you should be able to ask these questions to get information about someone. Also, when you answer these questions, you are able to prepare your introduction. What are the elements that you need to prepare your introduction? And if you want to tell about someone, these are the necessary information. These questions, while asking them and answering them, you will be able to give a fair idea of someone's introduction. This, these descriptive adjectives are related to describe personality. You can see that there are some Arabic words written as well and also there are the words opposite of those adjectives just to clarify the meaning in detail. So while you are describing some person, you can utilize these adjectives with I am or he is or she is and you can add on with this. So these are sets of lots of words with their Arabic meanings and the opposite words to increase your vocabulary to describe personality. Here is the sample for using, after using those personality adjectives, how can you turn them into writing? The basic structure which is used is I am plus that adjective. Can, you can look in these, in these samples that with the I am, different structures have been used to construct a sentence and give uh, an elaborate introduction of yourself. Now here is another example in which you are describing someone. I am is replaced with he is. 
So you can see that pretty much the same structure is used. The personality adjectives are used to construct someone's introduction. Now the final stage, because the, the learning outcome was to introduce yourself and, or someone else. So what we did is to start with, we started with some questions. The students were made to ask these questions. Then in the group, they would stand up and introduce themselves. Then they were supposed to write down just to reinforce their idea, the concept. And after a lot of practice, they were made to introduce themselves in front of the class. Here are a few samples in which the students have, have done practice and are able to introduce themselves as a final outcome of this week. All right, now we're going to do this exercise. What do you look at it? What are these things? Questions. So you are going to ask the questions in which you get to know about that person. All right? So you're going to start and finish till the end. And after that, you're going to change sides. Is there any confusion about any question? No. Let's get started. All of you have this handout. Have you? Okay, what is it about? Descriptive adjectives. Okay, they describe what? Yes, sifat or sifat, personality. All right, so let's start with what's the first word? Smart. 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 What's, it's, what, what do you say in Arabic? Lucky. What's the opposite? Uh, and what do you say in Arabic? Lame. Okay, next. Lame. Generous. Lame. Kareem. Okay. Miser. Okay. okay, make a sentence for generous. I like uh, uh, generous people. Great. Miser. I don't like uh, myself. Great. Next. Kind. 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 Can you make a sentence? Tame. My mother. Kind. My mother is kind. Great. Okay, in this activity, we have made groups. One of you is going to introduce himself, and the other three are going to listen. If they have any questions, they're going to ask. Otherwise, when he finishes, the next one gets up and the next one and so on. Is that clear? Okay. Let's get started. From this group, who will start? Ammar. Omar. Ahmed. Sameh. Tamir. Please stand up and get started. You have prepared all the week to talk about yourself. Now you're, come, you're going to come on the stage and you're going to talk to the people and tell about yourself. So who's going to come next? Anyone? Hamad, please welcome. Tell us about yourself. Assalamu alaikum. 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 Assalamu In my free time, I going to Jeddah and uh, going to Abha. Okay. Uh, I like uh, I like eating pizza and kapsa. Great.
Yes, who comes next? Azam, come over. Very nice. Yes, anyone else? Yes, Muhammad Ali Shafi. Nice, great. 